Hello, welcome to an episode of Smiling Mama's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make quinoa tabbouleh. What this does is it gets a little bit of the bitter coating that's on there off so that it will taste better when we cook it. And that's all you need to do. One half a cup of quinoa and one cup of water. That's the ratio. And then you put a lid on it. Put a lid on it. And you cook it on medium heat for 10 minutes. Sometimes it works out perfect and sometimes you need to add a little more water. But we will see what happens. I've got three minutes to go. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Okay, it's been cooking for 10 minutes, actually closer to 11 to be perfectly honest. And you can see what's happening now. I'm gonna turn the heat off completely. There are these little tails that kind of come out of it. They look like, like little sprouts, if you will. Like little cute little circles. So the consistency actually could cook a little bit more. Sometimes I'm good at this and sometimes I'm not. But even if there's a little bit of like liquid still left in there from the water, once you put it in the fridge and cool it off, it'll be nice and fluffy. So let's do that now. Yay! I already did some of the prep work, but come and look at all the things that I cut up. I showed you the picture of all the goodness. Now I chose quinoa because it's usually made with bulgur wheat, but I have a little bit of a wheat sensitivity, so I like quinoa. So do you remember that I showed you the picture of how to cook the quinoa? Well, it's been chilling in the fridge and all the water has soaked up. So now we just put it in a bowl, like super easy. So it's a cup. It ends up being a cup of quinoa. So ta-da, quinoa. Now I use these little grape tomatoes, but grape tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, something that kind of keeps its density or its shape. So I got some tomatoes, yum, yum, very springy and summery. These are my cucumbers. And I have about a cup of those too, which is funny. That reminds me of that song like, uh, the Java Jive. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. I like the English cucumbers because they don't have so many seeds in there and they don't have as tough of a an outside, so it's yummy. And then I chose some red onions. I don't like really oniony flavor things, so you can use these or green onions or scallions. Now, honestly, there isn't really any measurements. Just put whatever in, floats your boat and makes you happy. So I've got a little bit of that. And then what else do I have? Oh, super important part. This is the parsley. Now, I chose the flat parsley, but you can also choose the curly parsley. And I made it as small as I could, um, chopping it up. But the smaller, the better, and it really makes it lovely. Now, I chose fresh parsley, and that's kind of like the most important thing. Now, another thing you can do and have fresh is mint, but I always forget to buy it. So when I do buy it, I forget to use it, and then I have dried. So this is home dried mint. And it's you can see it's still in the shape of when I dried it. But I just get a little handful, I just stir it up like that and just put it in there. Now the mint, you'd be surprised, really adds a lot to the flavor. And then literally the last thing is some olive oil. Oh, I can smell my hands, it smell like minty, really fun. I have about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. I might have a little bit more. And then I add some salt. And the nice thing is that you can do whatever you want to make whatever kind of ratio makes your taste buds happy. And because I'm the only one that's gonna eat this and my husband is not gonna eat it because I don't think he likes it as much as I do, I'm gonna just taste it out of the spoon. And <laughs> this is a giant spoon. See how it is, ready, here we go. Oh my gosh, P.S. I thought it tasted like not quite right. I forgot the lemon juice. Huge, this is almost a full lemon. And uh, my husband has corrected me that he likes it. So this is almost a full lemon. I'm not gonna eat it now that you're <laughs> putting on a spoon. Yeah, I already, I already got the spoon. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 